No, I believe it, it, it is a key issue and uh, we need that transition and we need big business to be part of that. And what I felt here the last two days is that big business realizes they have to be part of it, but most of them have only talked about it and not really done stuff. I'm really proud of some of the Dutch companies who are really on the forefront of this. Mm. But when you look, take a look at the wider picture, there needs to, more needs to be done. And more leadership from big companies is needed to get this, uh, yeah, to get See, this handled. I think that might have been the case a year or two ago. But what I'm hearing is, despite, dare I say it, what Greta Thunberg has to say on Tuesday, and despite, of course, the other extreme from the president, Mr. Trump, yeah. on the same day, I see a lot of money being invested in green initiatives. I see a lot of companies, Dutch companies, European global companies, who are taking action. So I think it's perhaps a little unfair to say that it's just words and not action. No, it, it, it's more than just words. There is a lot of action, but it has to be at a higher pace. We have to increase uh, this, the speed by which this is being done. I've had many discussions here with big industry clusters present in the Netherlands. Mm. They all want to speed up. Uh, I want the Netherlands to be the place of investment to make these energy transitions. Mm. And then uh, companies and government can work together to m keep the jobs, to create new jobs, to create new economic growth opportunities. There are huge opportunities uh, to be dealt with. But then you have to collectively, government and industry, work together to make that happen. I believe that is one of the key messages coming out of this devil. And one of the key messages I hear from traditional industries, whether it be the oil and gas industry with enormous Anglo-Dutch companies and others such as Royal Dutch Shell as well, is that there has to be an honest discussion from politicians. Would you take it on the chin that saying too many politicians in Europe especially are talking a very good talk on climate change but not looking at the realities of that transition? Well, and it's generally they are right, of course, but what we have tried to do last year in the Netherlands and I now get the feedback from big companies that they like that what we have done, we created this energy deal with 150 societal organizations, including the employers. Mm. This gives you a long-term perspective of how to invest. It is across parties, a wider range of parties than just the coalition now governing, so it will also survive the next elections, elections after. People need that. It need, they need a long-term outlook to know how to invest in that climate mm. change. But the accusation is twofold. One, politicians don't care about longer term because they're not going to be around for the longer term, potentially. Uh, and two, if we are not careful, we are going to ESG ourselves out of investment in traditional industries in Europe and we're going to hand it to Asian and emerging markets. Well, there's always the risk of that, of course, and that's exactly what I want to prevent in my country because mm. we have some of these big chemical and petrochemical and also uh, uh, steel companies, uh, some of them at being at the forefront of change, uh, being some of the best mm. in the world. I want the Netherlands to be the place of investment mm. uh, for them to make that energy a transition. They don't have to excuse themselves for the fact that they are emitting CO2. What I want is to get collectively to work on this long-term mm. plan to make sure that they can do the investments, that we make sure that the infrastructure is there, that when we have levies on CO2 that we invest them back as much as possible okay. into the economy. And then you can be a place where you have that neutrality of CO2 in the long term, but at the same time you maintain the jobs. It will even create new jobs. You will have new economic growth opportunities.